So we are now off to Italy. We've got somewhere between a 190 and 280 nautical mile passage depending on where we decide to stop in Italy. I think we'll just make it up as we go along. Um, a quick update, uh, we are almost through our first day on a two to three day passage to Italy. I hope we do the longest sail so. <laughs> uh, and we get right up into the Messina Straits which is probably closer to 300 nautical miles which is a, a pretty considerable passage considering we recently celebrated our first thousand nautical miles so we'll do a third of that in, uh, in three days. I caught a fish, or I've captured a free willy. Anyway, this was just in the middle of nowhere, just like where we are. I'm happy with my catch. Morning, day number three of the passage and my second sunrise of, uh, of the passage. One of the great parts about doing the graveyard shift is you get to see beautiful things like this. But we're in Italian waters, uh, we've got about I think we've got a whole day sailing to go. We're heading to a place called Messina to check in. So Messina is just on the border of the Messina Straits, which is one of the central transiting channels um, in Italy, between Italy and Sicily. It's a relatively small channel. It's supposed to have some interesting weather, which we haven't really been able to check that much since we've been on passage. So hopefully uh, the weather in the Straits will be, will be fine today. It's like there's not too much wind, so it should be good. The land of Messina ice cream not so nice up close and personal. I don't see very many flavours over there. So after motoring for the last 12 hours or so we hit 35 knot winds just before we came into the straits. A lot of swell, pretty intense weather and Chris has done an awesome park which is like a reverse parallel park um, onto a floating pontoon in 35 knots. There's loads of waves, all pretty hectic and just really happy that we got in here and tied on safely. So we're leaving the Messina Straits, it's been um, uh, a very stressful time getting here we, and now we're crossing one of the busiest um, waterways in Europe. So we thought we'd do a video and not watch the other traffic. <laughs> Fingers crossed the next half an hour to an hour goes smoothly, Alyssa keeps the boat straight and uh, we get there one piece. We're on our way right now to a little town called Cefalu uh, on the north coast of Sicily. There is still no wind, so we're looking at a six hour motor to Cefalu. Bit hot, bit tired, bit grumpy, especially Chris. Yes, I'm grumpy. Barely slept last night, it was really hot. And because there was no wind keeping tension on the anchor, we were side on to all of the fishing boats wake. So we just rolled in our bed. Today we're heading to a place at the uh, northwest corner of Sicily called Capo San Vito. It's another day with no wind and hot still, so we are motoring along. Last three days, this is what we've been doing, just sweating and motoring with the odd patch of sailing. We just tried to sail without any luck. We finally got a little bit of wind on our journey across the coast of Sicily. Very exciting news, got about 12 to 13 knots, so we've actually been able to start sailing. So we've got our Big Bluey up, which is one of my favourite sails. Um, it's a really nice lightweight sail and yeah, cruising along at about five and a half knots.
We commenced our journey from Sicily to Sardinia earlier this morning at around 8 o'clock. We had really good wind, which has now dialed off a little bit, but we're still doing good speed. My favourite sail there. It's carrying us along pretty well at four knots. And it feels like our fourth or fifth passage, I'm not quite sure, but it's funny how the prospect of another overnight sail doesn't really daunt us or daunt me as much as it used to. Alyssa looks really enthused by the whole prospect. These two guys have been with us for hours, just hitching a ride. So we have Sunset Dolphins and a 790 foot, 91 foot tanker. Oh, I saw a big jump. It's just after 6.30 a.m. We did a bit of a change in shift times for, for Chris and I. So usually I don't get to see the sun rise and I just get up after it's, after it's come up. So I actually got to see it for the first time um, on passages. So that's been pretty cool. Bit of excitement last night. I got radioed by a large fishing vessel which was trawling nearby. Um, around 100 foot vessel uh, radioed me to say I needed to get out of the way because uh, I was where they were actually going to be, be trawling. So I wasn't sure if they had nets or not. The guy didn't really speak English. Um, and I wasn't really sure what direction they were actually going because the AIS said something different to, to where they were moving. So luckily all ended well and uh, averted any collisions there, but it was quite exciting. It's the first time that anyone has actually radioed us. So we've moved on from our original port in Sardinia, which was called uh, Villa Simis, and we're on to another area called Capo di Pula. So the, the town nearby is called Pula. We're in a little bay, uh, which is right next to it. There's a site here with a lot of Roman ruins, which we haven't yet quite explored, but we're really enjoying it on our second day here. Yeah, it felt like we were rushing from place to place and we were in it. Our last anchorage was very bumpy and full of uh, motorboats and um, unfriendly people and now we have this place all to ourselves and there's a sailing school behind us and it's been really cool to see another side of Italy where um, people are really um, passionate about sailing all different types of sailing from little lasers we saw people out on uh, windsurfers today having lessons Alyssa well, just won um, a game of ping pong so she can claim Italy. I only lost by one point. It doesn't matter. Although, no, technically, you needed to win by two points because it was a tie break because it was two points. So we should keep it to play. Sorry, the game's anyone, over. Anyone that watches this will agree with me. The game's over. 10 10, it's a tie break. You, you tell me what the rules are. You need to win by two. We left our anchorage at Pula this morning to go around the south coast of Sardinia to a couple of the anchorages there. Um, wind was a little bit hectic, shall we say, around sort of 35, 45 knots. We had a couple of reefs in the main and in the Genoa and in the end just decided it was a little bit too much hassle. So we pulled into a little bay near here uh, on the way south. Gorgeous turquoise waters, really stunning. Still a bit of wind here. Um, we're gonna have a nice quiet lunch. Chris has gone for a swim. And then we're gonna go out and re-brave the winds again. So the ground, or the, the sea, sea floor, is covered with all of these like little things. And I, I'm guessing this is a baby tumbleweed. It's all woven together, like there's nothing. It's just like, it's just bits of fiber and stuff. And then over time, they become this perfectly cylindrical. This, that, that's rock hard. I think we might might get a few of these off the floor. I don't know, they're pretty furry, but heavy. Underwater tumbleweed. We made it yesterday to uh, Anchorage for last night, which is called Porto uh, Malfanto. 
the journey was a little bit rough shall we say so we decided to sail anyway even though there were some strong winds uh, forecast but they were much stronger than actually predicted so we had around 40 knots constantly for the afternoon trip um, and then up to 54 knots in, in places strongest winds that we've had so far while well, we've actually been out on the water, not at anchor. So it was a bit of a new experience, um, but we, we got through it in one piece. Uh, luckily today the winds have died off and now it is quite calm. So goodbye, Mr. Winds. It was nice to meet you quickly, not. Um, and then looking forward to some calmer weather for the rest of our trip through Sardinia. It's a really nice anchorage here though. There currently isn't many people. Most of the people have left after taking refuge here in yesterday's wind. There's a cool little beach bar, some umbrellas, some snorkeling happening. So really gonna enjoy the day and the last of the time that we have in Sardinia. Boat love happens in exotic locations. Bit of boat love washing up. But look at that sunset. We've had a few rough days on the water lately, um, but it's good to see nature balancing things out. Beautiful sail this morning. Uh, we've got about four or five hours of this uh, before we spend our last night in Italy. Off to Spain. Looking forward to exchanging prosciutto for ham on and uh, at least having a very basic grasp of the language in the country. My Italian's terrible. <laughs> 